What's up guys? It's 2018 and that can mean only one thing. MLB The Show 18, Ramon Russell is back. Yep. And uh, we're gonna go through some, some new features. Yeah. Let's just get right into we're it. We're gonna get right into it. You know what we're gonna talk about today? I'm not sure, I'm, I'm in we're the dark here. We're gonna talk about a little bit of stuff, a lot of stuff. So you've seen the trailer which just came out, right? And I showed I you all of the really cool stuff that we kind of hid in that trailer. I got a behind, behind, behind the scenes, the scenes. Look, yeah. So by the time you guys see this, the trailer will be out and it'll all make sense. So today what we're gonna talk about in this visit is gameplay. Gameplay's king. Gameplay also, is before king. we jump into gameplay, Road to the Show is going to be amazing this year. We've done a lot of big changes to Road to the Show, but we're not going to talk about today. Just can't share any of that just can't yet. Can't share that today. Okay. Today, we'll we're see. going to talk about gameplay. So what's, why gameplay? Well, you know, what's, what's baseball, right? Pitching, hitting, fielding, catching, and throwing, right? That, that, that's the core pillars of, of a baseball game. So we've spent a lot of developmental resources this year on working on those core systems. For instance, our tagging engine has been completely rewritten from the ground up. Right. Nothing from last year's tagging engine is in the game this year. Uh, that should make a lot of our fans happy because we had a, a few issues in our tagging engine. And so right. what we did was uh, Jeff Ullman, who wrote the base runner code and the base runner logic, he rewrote the entire tagging system. It kind of makes sense, right? The guy who wrote the base runner logic should probably rewrite the tagging right, the logic tagging too, logic. right? And so what that has allowed us to do is, you know, before in any other MLB to show game, the fielder who had the ball, who was trying to tag a player out, he didn't quite have the spatial awareness of what the other guy was trying to do. Correct. He was just trying yeah. to tag him. He didn't know if he was running, he didn't know if he was sliding. Now he knows those things. So when the ball's in play and the fielder has the ball, he knows what the runner's trying to do. If he sees that he's going for a dive, it's like, oh, this guy's diving, I need to try to tag him here. Oh, right. he's running away from me, I need to try to tag him here. So all of our tags now are all contextual. And so what that does is one, the game plays a lot smoother, it looks a lot better and it looks a lot more realistic and it cuts out a lot of exploits um, that you saw in previous versions of the game. Oh, nice catch. Let's go. And these tagging kind of updates apply to all bases. All bases. It's first tag base, first, home, second, second, third, every single base. Like this is like the tagging system was such a big core rewrite. It's something that you're going to see take place by the fifth game that you've played, the third game that you've played. Right. When you're 100 games in, you're going to continue to see just how good our tagging system is. Because right. the thing is with sports games, because we have real life reference to go off of, if it doesn't look right, you immediately notice. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the big core rewrites. Another big core gameplay thing is, since we're talking about tagging, catchers. You know, our catchers couldn't quite get up out of their uh, crouches fast enough to deal with runners trying to advance bases. Or so when there's a pass ball that doesn't quite shoot 50 feet away from them. Right. So now you'll see, and you saw, you'll see this in the trailer too, like there's a few scenes of the catcher exploding out of his stance and getting to that ball. And last year you could probably take second base. Uh, because of a few of the exploit there, exploits there, those right. are all gone. The catchers are going to get up, they're going to get the ball, and they're going to fire it out. So you won't be able to do kind of the weird stuff that you did last year. So now there's, there's a chance of gunning runners out. It's oh, not there's a not a sure, chance. If, sure you, if you try to yeah. do something that's unrealistic that you wouldn't see in a real baseball game, like advancing from first to second on a pass ball that's like right in front of the catcher, you're, you're going to get thrown out. out. Okay. You're, going to get, you're going to get thrown out. Same thing with if a ball does make it past the catcher and makes it to the backstop, you know, the pitcher's got to cover home, right? Right. So we've worked on a lot. You know, our lead animator, uh, Chris Clemens, Chris Guild, our lead gameplay uh, lead, what they've done is made sure that we have enough animations for the pitcher to be able to handle those situations where he's covering home right. and he needs to tag somebody out. So you won't see as much frustration there as well. Right. Um, that goes to more, like, with the gameplay, and what you're going to see is it's so much smoother our guys are so much more efficient they do things so much faster and they're able to get rid of the ball even faster than they could last year and it makes a huge change on the game that was a nice little was that Correa? Ooh, Giancarlo though is that correct, Carl? It's gonna be you're gonna be happy this year being a Yankees fan, aren't you? It's gonna be a great year. It's gonna be great. Year. We can use one more starting pitcher. One more starting pitcher. But then I'd be spoiled. So you know what? I, <laughs> yeah, you got you yeah. know, dude's gonna hit 200 home runs between the three of them. So we'll see. I don't think so. I'm just throwing this ball down the middle because I want to get some action. I want to see some balls put in play. So speaking of animations, you know the catcher 
We have over 100 new animations for the catcher and everything that's going around when, when he can't take care of a ball and he gets past him or it just dribbles right in front of him. So he has new animations. We've added a lot of new animations for, again, the pitcher covering home. And we've always tried to fill holes where we think we were kind of weak in years past. And I think we've continued that trend on this year. And that goes with everything. That's a nice little hit. That's a nice hit. Speaking of hitting, Really big topic. You know, last year was a huge update for us. We're going to our new physics engine with ball right. spin and all that stuff. We've continued to refine that. Um, it's something that was a big focus for us. Like we have uh, hitting play tests every single day. Uh, all the design team, everybody in QA, like from 3.30 to 5, we go in a room and we all just play the game and give notes and feedback. Like, okay, this isn't kind of feeling right. We're not getting enough singles. We're not getting enough doubles. And that's something that you're gonna, we're gonna continue to do until we finish the game. So we're really, really happy where hitting is now, but we're gonna continue to try to make it better uh, before right. we ship the game. So something that guys have probably noticed since we've been playing is we've updated the swing analysis box. So now on certain swings, you'll actually see this 3D out, this 3D uh, slide out. Which in the bottom right. See it in the bo right or left, depending on the hand that's better. So there it okay. is. So that is in real time what your swing did. Like that's where the ball was in 3D space. That's where the bat is in 3D space. So that's all one to one. So you can really come to understand. So you can how late really you were, come to understand. Like, did I really get that ball, or was I yeah. under it? How early was how early was I? And that's something that uh, Lance has been working on all year, and it's starting to shape up pretty well. I mean, it looks again, it looks fantastic. I know last year was maybe maybe a major focus on the looks of each player and kind of the. Whether it was how their faces looked, how their stances were, whatnot. Um, can you talk about what kind of is the the overhaul, the real main focus of this year's show? Absolutely. So last year was like the faces, right? You know, we overhauled our entire face system. Yeah. This year it's the uniforms, right? You know, a few years back the stadiums got all the love, then right. the faces got the love, and then along with the faces, you know, we had the body uh, scale slides that we had. This year it's all about the uniforms. So our physically based rendering system that we brought to the stadiums and all of those aspects like the metal and the padding, that's now came over to the uniforms. Right. So when you see close, up, close ups of the uniforms, they're gonna look so much better. The stitching looks fantastic. And our character team and all of the artists have done a fantastic job really making the uniforms pop. Right. Also, when we eventually start talking about creative player, there's a few other updates there too as well in the graphics department for all you'll see a little bit of that in, in the trailer as well. Yes, you, you will. Really there's mention a little, it, but you'll see a little you'll something. You'll see something. There's okay. a lot of stuff in the trailer. Uh, right. we, we think our, our biggest fans will be able to pick up on, and then stuff that people miss, we'll definitely uh, re elaborate right. on. I know oh, what am I swinging at? you mentioned a little earlier about kind of stadium atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, that was an overhaul a couple games back, but has there been anything done to kind of update the stadium? Oh, absolutely. Uh, crowd, ambiance, presentation, commentary, those are big areas of focus this year. So we're not ready to talk about uh, presentation and commentary, right. but uh, Kirby St. John and Michael Compton and Ross, they've been working like crazy, and I think people are really gonna like what they've done. Right. So specifically about the crowds, one, we've doubled our crowd animations. Mm -hmm. So now what you're gonna see, you're gonna see people like, they're gonna be taking sips out of cups, they're gonna be on the phone, which seems to be this thing we do in society a lot. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna see more people <laughs> getting up. Our attendance logic is now really, really close one-to-one -to, -one to what you'll see in real life, and this is all data that we've gotten from the MLB. So like the Dodgers, fans tends to show up a little bit later in the games because you know right. LA traffic. Right. That's okay. gonna happen in the game. Uh, in this game we're playing right here, it's a full, like it's a, it's a sellout, right? If we start getting blown out by the sixth or the seventh inning, the crowd is going to start to leave. And these are some things that really make like road to the show and season modes that much better because you see how dynamic the crowd is. And we, that like addition of realisticness is, is something that really stands out too, I feel like, because Nobody, the stadium's not gonna be full in the bottom of the ninth if you're losing like crazy. Yeah, if you're losing so, like 21 to, yeah. to three, everybody's gonna be going home. And I, now you also noticed in the trailer, but also we can kind of see it here over in right field, it looks like uh, the uh, cover athlete. Yeah, got the got judges' little, chambers. The judges' chambers is in the game. Oh, is this going into the I judges' chamber? It's going out oh, though. Oh, it's close. It went out, what did I get? Let's, let's look at this swing analysis and see, see, see what I did here. I was close. Ooh, end of the bat. End of right. the bat. Muscle that out. But yeah, oh, that's convenient. We were talking about that, and you just saw a little bit of the yeah, judges' teams out there. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of home runs hitting the stadium. That's a guess. 
That, that's just a wild guess. Yeah. Oh, and here's one of our new cameras. So what's cool about this camera is it'll trigger on some home runs and foul balls, so you kind of won't know exactly which one it is. Right. And how many of these new camera angles have been added? Is there... So for like, uh, I think we've added about five new batting cameras, and we added cameras based on the cameras that we saw a lot of people were using, so we tried yeah. to give a little bit more granularity there. You're gonna see a lot of new cameras in the presentation aspect of the game. Again, won't talk about that too much. Uh, one thing I will tell you is, you know, Kirby and the guys have done a lot of job with replays, the commentary stuff that I can't really talk about that. But it's gonna, it, I think people are gonna be happy. We'll get there. Done we'll get there eventually. Very soon. Very soon. We don't, well, I don't know when, but we'll find out. <laughs> we'll, soon. You'll I'm, find out soonish. I'm, I'm just, be, I'm in the dark as much as everybody it, else it that's watching this soonish. right now. There's, there's a lot we have to talk about. There's this really cool new feature, which we're gonna make another video of that'll come out a little bit after this cool. one. And this is a feature that people have been asking for for years. Like this is one of the really, really cool features that people have asked for. We've also done a lot of work with franchise mode. We have this thing called phases, which we won't talk about yet. Yep. So franchise mode has phases, Road to the Show, you know, Steve Merka and the designers have done a really, really awesome job of really refreshing Road to the Show and giving it that love. Cause that was some of the feedback we heard last year was, oh, well, you, you know, tagging's not great. The catcher can't really, you know, play his position the way he, he should right. be playing. When are you guys going to overhaul road to the show? And so this year, all those big major focuses of ours are things that the community kind of thought we should focus on. The same things we thought we should focus on. So we think people are going to be really excited about the game yeah. this year. I mean, any, any group of, of fans that kind of get the developers to focus on things that they really want in the game, I think is really fantastic. Yeah, because at the end of the day, like, we want to make the best and most enjoyable baseball right. game as well. Like, we're, we're on the same team. Yeah. We, don't, we don't want the game to have exploits or to have weak areas. And that's, I think that's something we've done a pretty decent job of in the past is every single year, okay, where were we weak last year? Or what, right. what is the feature that, that people really wanted? And that we think people are going to see that again this year. And I'm sure that any like concerns that players have is probably the same concerns that you guys have as like the developers of the game. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, some things are a lot easier to do than others. You know, some things may take, you know, two or three years for us right. to work on the back end. Yeah. But we, we tend to, to get the things yeah. uh, when we can. So we also just saw something that we teased in the trailer. We now have the mouth guards for the helmets. Uh, we also have some new accessories. Can't give you what all of them are, but you know we have some new accessories and brands and categories there. So Springer, and I think correct uh, is it Correa that has the the mouth? Does Springer have it too? I, he might. I know a lot of the guys Ooh, started back to back them. jacks. Yeah, back to back jacks. And I'm just laying it in here so we can we can get some gameplay. Oh, good swing time, good contact result, good. So pitching's a little harder. Um, that's something I forgot to mention. Uh, it's not a huge difficulty increase, but we kind of felt maybe it was a little bit too easy to pinpoint. Right. So you'll see some changes there. Again, hitting, physics, all those things have been tuned. It's something that we're, we'll be working on until we go cold freeze to try to make sure you know the hitting engine is as dialed in right. as it possibly can be. You know, we have hundreds of new fielding animations. And for fielding, outside of what we're trying to do with tags and whatnot, we wanted to fill holes, um, get some more throws. We wanted to make sure that guys can branch out of things in case you got a guy on first, you got a guy on third. Right. You send the guy at first, and then if maybe if he's not paying attention, I'm gonna send this guy home. Maybe in last year's game, the second baseman couldn't fire that ball home because he couldn't branch out. Right. You won't have that problem anymore. You can pretty much branch out of anything, and that really cuts down on the exploits uh, that we used to have in the game. Right. And this will obviously all play into effect when, when players are playing online as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yeah, a lot of these things were uh, shortcomings that we saw online. Because when you're playing offline, you, you don't see it because you play normally because right. the computer will kill you. Or if you're playing against your buddy, just like, hey, man, stop it. Like, because he's sitting right there. Yeah, you're sitting right there. But, you know, when you're in the realm of online, people tend to do, you know, weird yeah, stuff. Yeah, anything to win. That's, I guess that's a mentality that's always been around. So We've also updated the weather. Uh, we read it our fog. We have read it our rain. Also got something interesting to talk about with rain in the future. Cool. Uh, I know last year there was kind of a focus on the field and the grass as well. Mm -hmm. Were there any updates for kind of those? I think it was sh Shadows last year? Or? Yeah, so Shadows was big. This year we're focusing in on the backdrops for all of the minor league stadiums. Right. Um, we really, I think our stadium team went and looked at every single minor league stadium and looked at those backdrops. I think they redid all of them. 
Um, because if you're in the road to the show, you're going to be spending quite a bit of time yeah. playing in those minor league stadiums. We really want to take those to the next level. So that's a nice update there. And that's a, not a nice swing. Oh, come on, Brett. It's a terrible swing. I'm going to go to second anyway. We'll pop up. So one thing you're not seeing at all, because we don't want to show it, is you're not going to see the new presentation stuff because I'm on fast play. Because we want to keep that stuff keep close it, to the keep chest. Keep it secret. Okay. Keep it close. Like, we don't want to spoil all the stuff Kirby's yeah. been working on just yet. You did see uh, before the last inning, you saw one of our new uh, stadium cutaways where we'll show more blimp views of all of the stadiums. Because our stadiums, they're, they're gorgeous. You know, right. those guys work really hard. So that's one of the things you'll notice. I'm trying to think. I can't give away too much. I don't want to spoil spoil Kirby's fire. See if I can actually groom I mean, just like hand. it's Come it's on. almost almost pitchers and catchers, so they're preparing. They're you about guys to are report. preparing the game. You're getting ready to report. We're getting ready to this. report. Again, like gameplay, core gameplay systems. I'm terrible. I'm striking out. This is such a huge focus this year. You know, pitching, catching, throwing, hitting, all those systems got a lot of love. This is easily the most polished dialed in gameplay that we've ever done. And we're, everybody at the studio is really proud about that. Uh, are there any other gameplay highlights that you can you know, fill us in on that, that can be filled in? I'm sure there's a lot of other updates that are coming down the road. Get yeah, it, so get to the show. one of the, like, like I mentioned before, because we're emulating a real sport, whenever something's off, you always notice. He's like, I saw that on TV but yeah. it's not happening how it's supposed to happen in the game. Right. So we spent a lot of time on emotion. So for the pitchers and the hitters, uh, when guys strike out, when they draw a walk, or when the pitcher strikes somebody out, or he gets a call where he's, he, he's kind of perturbed about it, you'll see they're gonna emote a lot more. Right. Um, guys in the infield will communicate more. Um, like you'll see, like in the trailer, you saw Trey Turner say like, yeah, it is two outs. Two You're outs. gonna see so much more of that going on. There's so much more post play, what we call idle scenes happening, where guys are going to react appropriately after an out is made. Right. And that's something you'll see like, oh, that's cool. That's what I saw on TV. And it just makes sense now. Whereas maybe in previous years of the game, after an out, the guy would walk a weird way or he'd do a real gesture. You'd be like, that doesn't, that doesn't look right. And that takes right. you out of the immersion of the game. Yeah. I mean, anything that boosts the realisticness of the presentation. Mm -hmm. And you know, we like, we like home run swings and bat flips. We got a lot more, oh. a lot more of those. All the guys that do them, uh, we tried to recapture them. So we probably add another 25 plus of those. Okay. And in, in the creative player editor, there's quite a bit in there. Uh, we know Road to the Show is a very popular mode. People like to hit bombs and roll the show. We're not creating pictures, so there's so many more animations guys can choose from to be yeah. able to show off their personality. I have some fingers crossed. There are going to be some deep bombs and toss the bat up in the stands. Oh, you can do all that. We got all that covered. She's going the Jose Bautista. We we got you toss. covered. We got you covered. I'm excited. All right. Well, my thanks to you, Ramon, for coming in, showing us all the gameplay updates for the show. 18. Thank you for inviting us. We are pretty excited to see what else is down the road. Um, road to the show is awesome. All right, well, we have our fingers crossed and uh, keep it right here on GameSpot very soon. We'll have some, some details with Ramon again. So we'll see you next time.